Thanks for joining us today. Follow along while we share some of our favorite beach camping spots in Baja, California. Last year, when we headed to Baja for the first time ever, we never expected to find so many great camping places along such beautiful beaches. We're Rich and Robin. And this is our midlife van. After visiting Baja, California three times now, our favorite spots to stay are around Mulehe in Baja Sur. Our favorite spot is Bahia Conception. There are multiple places to stay, but we keep returning to Playa Los Cocos for the views, the people, and the location. We have stayed at Playa Los Cocos four times in our three visits. Every time we have visited, we have met new friends and met some great locals who show up every day selling items from souvenirs to fresh fish. El Requizan is on the south end of Bahia Conception. This beautiful beach has shallow water with a sandbar that gets exposed during low tide. We have yet to snorkel this area, but would love to check it out again on another visit. Bahia Conception has no cell service. It's a great place to disconnect and decompress. Also in Bahia Conception, near Playa Los Cocos, is Escondida. Escondida has a short dirt road to a quiet beach. All the spots in Bahia Conception where we've stayed, there has been a small fee of about 10 US dollars per night. The fee includes daily garbage pickup and pit toilets. There is some boondocking for free in Bahia Conception, but for us, the location is better where we have to spend just a little bit of money. El Coyote is another beachfront campsite in Conception. Though we did not stay there, many of our friends have and enjoy the location there. Another reason we like to stay at Bahia Conception is for the short time it takes to get into Mulahe for shopping, restaurants, water fill-ups, and other necessities. Yesterday we came into Mulahe and dropped off our laundry. Got water. Water. Pesos, did some shopping. Had some lunch. Came back today to pick up our laundry and headed to the square. We'll have a little more lunch before going back. There are many activities to do near. Bahia Conception. Horseback riding on the beach, boat tours, snorkeling, paddle boarding, and kayaking. Hiking and other great activities are all available at Bahia Conception. Robin, what'd you think? Great time. Dolphins, swimming, horses, barbecue fish, and shrimp.
Bahia de Los Angeles is another great spot we love. Located in Baja Norte, before you get to the halfway point down the peninsula, this spot is quiet and serene with lots of underwater wildlife like whale sharks, dolphins, turtles, even great tide pools when the water is low. There's no cell service at Bahia Los Angeles, but when you stay at places like Campo Archelon, their cafe provides internet if you need to get connected. And in town, there are some great little restaurants, as well as shopping, gas, and water. At the end of the road, there's also Playa Gringa for some boondocking and more seclusion. Another one of our favorite spots in Baja Sur is Cabo Plomo. Taking a walk with some of our friends at, where are we? Those arboreals. <laughs> Capo Plomo. The Capo Plomo National Park is a great place for snorkeling and scuba diving. There are tours that you can take from town, or we love to camp at Los Arboreles, where you can just snorkel from the beach where you camp. There is also great hiking adventures. So we have arrived at Playa del Tecolote and I'll probably be here for a few days, we'll see. Pretty nice today, I guess it's the best day it's been this week. Beautiful views. And this is our spot for the night. Not too shabby. Playa Tecolote is a great free beach camping spot south of La Paz. It can get windy at times, but when the weather is calm, this beach is a beautiful shallow beach that is a great place to sit and relax. There are a few restaurants down the beach, but there is also no cell service here. Right around the corner, there's a great day use beach, Playa Belandra, one of the most beautiful beaches in Mexico. What do you think of this place, Rich? It's pretty nice. Beautiful sand, nice uh, shallow. Yeah. Great, I great place to spend a few hours of the day. Yeah. Especially populated, but not overpopulated. Limited to 200 people a day. Beautiful bay. Balandra. Playa Balandra. And back in town in La Paz, there's great restaurants, shopping, and tours, like the whale shark tour they have in the winter. Some other places we love for the Cabo area is Playa Pimilia. It's just a parking lot to stay overnight, but they have a beautiful blue flag beach to enjoy during the day with facilities like garbage, restrooms, recycling. Mm -hmm. 
and it's a short drive into San Jose de Cabo for some great food, shopping, and supplies. We also love to go to Cerritos, El Pescadera, and Todos Santos. All have great food and drinks, but we like to stay at La Pastora for some free beach camping to watch the surfers. And in the winter, we did some whale watching and was able to participate in a turtle release. Camping on the beaches in Baja, we have met many other travelers from Canada, the US, and abroad. Whether they're in vans, in tents, in RVs, or trailers, it has been great meeting people and get to experience Baja together. The beach that we're staying on tonight, all to ourselves. The van's back there. It's gonna be a windy night, but it's gonna be a beautiful sunset, I think. Sun's going down now. Click on the link above to watch the video where we share our driving tips in Baja. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos to come.